Welcome back to Carolina Week. I'm forecaster Corey Davis. And if you enjoyed the clear skies and comfortable temperatures today, I have good news for you. For starters, we'll be getting even warmer over the next few days as temperatures will rise to near 80 degrees on Friday. It'll really feel more like summer outside than spring. And if you're looking for some fun in the sun, then we will have sunny skies over the next few days as well. We'll be mostly cloud free and certainly rain free. So when might we see some more April showers? Well, as we head through the weekend, we could see a cold front pushing towards our area from the west, which will bring us an increased chance of rainfall. Let's switch over to the national map now, and you see basically everywhere east of the Mississippi right now is staying very clear and dry with those sunny skies. That includes us here in the southeast. However, if you head back to the west over Texas, there is some increased cloud cover. And up to the north, here's our next potential weather maker. It's bringing some rainfall across parts of the Dakotas and even snow to our friends in the Rockies. Now, we won't see any snow out of the system as it hits our area by Saturday and Sunday, but we could see some rainfall from this system. Let's zoom in closer on, on our area right now, and you see some scattered showers off the coast along with some cloud cover. This is part of a low pressure system that's pushing, pushing off towards the east. We don't have to worry about this now, and in fact today, all we have to worry about was the beautiful sunny skies here in the Triangle and really across the Carolinas. So why are we staying so warm and so clear? Let's switch over to the surface map and you see that we have a high pressure system built into the south. Now because of the rotation of the winds around this system, we're seeing a south to southwesterly wind bringing some very warm air from the Gulf of Mexico into our area. And as we head through the next few days and this high continues to push off the coast, we'll continue to have that very warm air and very nice southerly warm wind in our region. This cold front though will push in towards our area by the weekend and we could see some of that rain through the day on Saturday and Sunday. So what could this potential weekend rain mean for your plans? Well, the Tar Heels will be swinging the bats this weekend in several games. If you're headed out to see the women's softball team, you'll have mostly cloudy skies with a slight chance of rain on Saturday. So be sure to pack a t-shirt and maybe an umbrella for that game as it'll be quite warm and an increased chance of rain on Sunday for the game. The baseball team is also in action this weekend and the best game weather-wise looks to be on Friday night as we'll have mostly clear skies and very warm temperatures falling through the lower 70s during the game. No need to bundle up for this one. It looks beautiful. We can't say the same about Saturday and Sunday though as we'll have a chance of rain and slightly cooler temperatures during both games. Now let's say you're headed out of the triangle this weekend to the mountains. Here's what you can expect. You should see some rain during the day on Saturday with temperatures in the mid 60s. And on Sunday you'll see cl uh, skies clearing up. So nice weather for a hike or any other uh, plans you have. At the beaches, Saturday looks like the best day, as you'll see nice warm temperatures and mostly clear skies, but rain will be moving in through the day on Saturday, and by Sunday you could see some scattered showers. And here's what to expect if you're staying around the Triangle this weekend. Again, we'll be mostly clear with those sunny skies and very warm temperatures tomorrow and Friday, and by the weekend we'll cool off slightly and see some rain. But guys, I have to tell you, you must get out and enjoy this beautiful weather tomorrow and Friday. Absolutely. I always enjoy looking at forecasts that have sunshine. Um, predicted. It's always a good excuse to get outside. It looks beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Corey. Despite months of below average rainfall, things are improving dramatically just in time for spring. Robert Jessup has this update. This was the scene at University Lake just two months ago. Here's that same pier now. Over the past three weeks, rain has replenished our lake reservoirs back to 70% capacity and has caused scenes like this at area dams. Josh Fields lives on this lake in Finley Forest. He says over time, he's seen the water rise significantly. Well, it, it was probably down at about a foot or two. I mean, you could see you could see up on the bank where the mud was, which showed you where the water once was. Came back almost all the way, but not quite. The Orange Water and Sewer Authority has scaled back to stage one water restrictions. This means you can use water for any and all household purposes. However, there are still prohibitions on watering lawns and gardens. We currently have 2.5 billion gallons of water in our lake reservoirs. That's enough to last us 13 months based on the Orange Water and Sewage Authority's estimate. In Chapel Hill, I'm Robert Jessup, Carolina Week. Rainfall totals are still more than 8 inches below normal going back to January 2007. And now we're joined by sportscaster Sarah Moore. And Sarah, for what I hear, there's some UNC athletes stepping on into the international stage. Well, that's right, Johnny O. Unlike Duke athletes, UNC athletes actually have real talent. <laughs> Coming up in sports, the Olympics are just a few months away, and our area will be well represented. 
This guy hopes to make a big splash in Beijing.